So, the answer is yes. I realize it has been a while since I've done a luck and coffee challenge, but there's a reason for it. Tim Hortons has come to China. That kind of sudden huge investment in more coffee in China kind of made me stop and think about, is Luckin still safe? And I wanted to make sure. Well, is it? Don't leave everyone hanging. Now don't worry. I have come to the conclusion that, yes, Luckin is safe. No question. However, I've also come to the conclusion that there's a lot more to this coffee story than I thought. But this isn't the video to talk about that. That's the next video. For now, we're going to Luckin. Don't you just love that self-promotion for future videos? I mean, I guess it will be rather interesting to see China Tim Hortons, but still, way to be subtle. Well, it started raining. I am hoping two things. One, that the water on the lens doesn't look terrible. And two, isn't that camera waterproof? What are you so worried about? That it doesn't start raining even harder and I'm gonna have to uh, put everything away and not film. Oh, it's probably the fact that the brakes on the right side of that bike share bike didn't work. Well, at least you're on a bike path and not on the road. In LA, you'd probably be dead already. Beating a joke to death? Check. We've got coffee and joy. Those pictures look awfully similar to Luckin's. Kinda looks more like hopping on the bandwagon for a quick buck rather than putting in any original thought. It took us a bit to find this Luckin because it turned out to be in an office building. What? I found this rather strange because I specifically picked this location because the app called it a relaxed location. And I figured I'd give you guys a reward for your patience for this video. There aren't that many relaxed locations in the city. So the fact that this one is in an office building where most people who don't already work here won't go to it, it's kind of weird. So to my surprise, not only was it in an office building, but it also sucked. I mean, in terms of relax versus pickup, not in terms of the drink, we'll get to that later. But what exactly classifies it as relax? Is it the number of chairs? The place in the Cocoa Puff Milkshake episode had a similar number of seats. And I thought that place was a lot nicer than this one. The guard at the front was very skeptical about letting us in, and then yelled at me for not having my mask on. In the coffee shop. That was completely empty save for my friend and the Luckin staff. Bye. Not to mention I was about to be drinking coffee. Okay, relaxing. In trying to figure out what drink to get, I noticed they were offering a new series of Osmanthus flavored drinks, including an alcoholic one. Mm, look at you, Luckin. Did you just turn 21? Unfortunately, though, it wasn't available yet. Lame. So I got the Osmanthus latte instead. And it was. It tastes like. If you were to have like cereal with your coffee in the morning. And then at the end of it, you, t you finish your cereal and you're like, hmm, you know, I'm just gonna pour the milk from the cereal into the coffee. And that's this drink cereal milk coffee. It does taste a little bit like you mixed trick cereal with coffee. Hold on, shut up for a second. What's that? Okay, I owe Luckin an apology. Remember in this episode when I talked about the silly location of the pickup signs? But the placement of those signs seems to be up to the individual store. Some have it in the correct spot, and others seem to just place it randomly. This place had it on the wrong side of the counter. Weird. Yeah, it turns out that's not for drink pickup. That's the label for the type of location. And this one says, relax. Duh. No wonder the placement made no sense. Although, to be fair, unless you're as obsessed with Luckin as I am, who's gonna know that? I'm sure I'm not the first one to think that's weird. Because it has that, like, colorful flavor you get of Trix cereal, and it's specifically, like, Trix cereal, which a lot of people would know what that flavor's like. But it does, to me, it tastes a little artificial. It doesn't taste it like, is, yeah. like their other drinks, like the, the Yunnan coffee. Uh, the Yunnan uh, coconut latte. That tastes like 
very fresh and like a little sweet, but not super sweet. This one, when you drink it. Oh man, check out that gorgeous B-roll. Oh, so out of focus. To be fair, it's an Insta360 that I've never shot with before. People kept giving me weird looks for bringing a huge camera everywhere. Next time. I get a little bit of that like fake cereal flavor. And it does have a cereal flavor, but it's definitely not for me. So in conclusion, this Luckin is uh, not very relaxing. Let's leave. I didn't like the drink, which is subjective, that's fine. But their location was uncomfortable because they, they call it a relax. But like, it was not relaxing at all because they made it seem like I'm not supposed to be there, but then there was no one else there. Like, I don't like these office building luckins. Granted, if I worked at the office, it might be kind of nice, but as somebody who just came there to relax, that was not relaxing. Can't really blame Luckin for that, though. Fair fault. Super ribs rice. The choice of 80,000 people a day. Closed. Oh, yeah, and stay tuned for the Tim Hortons episode. Some more unsubtle self-promotion. Yeah.